Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel Infotech with Zafar Khan. Now I am starting with new lecture and very famous and widely used container management tool called Kubernetes. In this lecture, I will introduce brief idea about the Kubernetes, which is also known as K8S. So generally people are saying K8S, Kubernetes. So basically Kubernetes is an open source container orchestration engine for automating deployment, scaling and management of containerized application. The open source project is hosted by the Cloud Native Computing Foundation, CNCF, Cloud Native Computing Foundation. Orchestration is the automated configuring coordinating and managing the comp managing of computer system and software. Many tools exist to automate server configuration and management including Kubernetes, Ansible, Puppet, Terraform and AWS cloud information. So in this video, we will explore the basics of Kubernetes and how it works. Now what is Kubernetes? Kubernetes is a container orchestration system that allows users to manage and deploy containerized application. It automates the process of deploying, scaling and managing containerized application across multiple hosts. So, Kubernetes provides a platform for containerized application to be run in a production environment. It also ensures that the application is available. So the most important thing is your application should be available in terms of customer perspective. So Kubernetes also ensure that application is available, scalable and secure. The most important thing is security. Security is the most important thing. The peoples are now first thing check the security. So that's why the security is the most important thing. So Kubernetes provide a full secure of your application. When you run the application, first thing you need to check the security, whether it is secure or not. However, Kubernetes provide a full secure. Okay. Now, how does Kubernetes works. Kubernetes works by the deploying containerized application to a cluster of nodes. Now what is node? A node is a physical or virtual machine that is running a container runtime such as Docker. Kubernetes manages the deployment and scaling of the container across the node in the cluster. It ensures that containers are running and if it is failed, the Kubernetes will automatically restart to them. Now, key components of Kubernetes. What are the key components of the Kubernetes? So Kubernetes has uh, several uh, key components that works together to provide a platform for deploying and managing containerized application. I am repeating multiple times, so basically it is a containerized application. It provides a platform for deploying and managing the containerized application. So these components are first thing is the master node. The master node is a control plan that manages the cluster. It runs the Kubernetes API server, etcd, etcd is a distributed key value store and Kubernetes controller of the cluster and the Kubernetes controller manager. The API server is a front end of Kubernetes and provide REST API for managing the cluster. The etcd store is used to store the state of the cluster and the controller manager is responsible for maintaining the desired state of the cluster. The second key component is a work node. The work node 
is the worker machine that runs the container. It has a container runtime such as Docker and Kubelet, which is an agent that runs on the worker node and communicate with the master node. So Kubelet is responsible for managing the container on the worker node. The next key component is the pod. The pods is the smallest unit of deployment in Kubernetes. It is a logical host for one or more container. Pods are deployed to worker nodes and can be scheduled and managed by the Kubernetes. Next component is the services. A service is an abstraction that defines a set of ports and how they can be accessed. So services provide a stable IP address and DNS name of a set of ports. This allow other application to access the ports using the single IP address and DNS name. I will explain in details about the architecture of Kubernetes in next video. I am giving just a brief idea about the components of Kubernetes. Now what are the benefits of the Kubernetes? Why Kubernetes is used? So Kubernetes provide a several benefits for deploying and managing the containerized application. So these benefits are the scalability. Kubernetes makes it easy to scale containerized application up and down depending on the demand. It provides automated scaling based on resource utilization and can automatically add or remove container as needed. Whenever needed, it will automatically add or if it is not required, then it will remove the container. So based on the resources utilization, Kubernetes automatically add and even remove the container as needed. The next one is availability. Kubernetes ensures that containerized applications are always available by automatically restarting containers. If it fails, it also provides automated failure for applications that require high availability. So basically, Availability should be there because the customer always want the application should be available as and when they wanted to access. So Kubernetes basically ensure that the applications are always available. Okay. Now security. Kubernetes provide a several security features for containerized applications such as network policies and access control. It also provides a secret management to securely store and manage sensitive information because most of the data is very sensitive. It's a customer data. So security is a very, security is a very important. So Kubernetes provide a several security features for containerized application. In nutshell, we can say that Kubernetes is a powerful tool for deploying and managing the containerized application. It provides a platform for automating the deployment, scaling and management of containerized application across multiple hosts. So Kubernetes has become a leading platform nowadays for container orchestration and is used by many organizations to run their production workloads. Even in our project, they are it is highly demand Kubernetes. So they are going to introduce the Kubernetes in our project. Understanding the basics of Kubernetes is essential for anyone looking to deploy and manage containerized application at scale. Kubernetes is now very very important. Okay, we'll meet again with the new with the new video. Thank you.